today i am going to discuss about one of the very interesting but very boring lecture regarding the medical statistic called mean medium and more than type of distribution why i am saying it is very interesting and very boring together it is very interesting for me it will be very boring for you if you know the medical statistic when you go through medical articles it will be very interesting otherwise it will be very boring today i am going to do a small research would you like to participate into that research yes this is my population this sample going to represent this whole population i am going to check mean age age distribution among this population for that i took three red guys three black guys and three blue guys how many black guys are there in this side four black guys you include me as well don't include me so three black guys there three red guys there and three blue guys there then i am what i am going to do is i am going to ask what is your age black guy please tell me your age my age is 52 56 50 sorry 55 56 56 58 55 59 58 56 then what i am going to do is i am going to calculate all the age together and i am going to divide it from number of individuals so i am going to calculate 52 plus 55 plus 56 56 58 55 59 58 56 then i am going to divide it from number of individuals how many individuals are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 i have to divide it from number one once i collect all together the value is 505 my mathematics is so rapid i have to divide it from number 9 So value is fifty six point one. They define mean as you have to collect all the individuals together and you have to divide it from number of individuals. Mean mean you have to collect all data together and you have to divide it from number of individuals. Here five hundred five. 505 we have to divide it from 9 value is 56.1 then what i am going to do is then i am going to check most frequently appear number of this group would you like to see it for that i am going to make it in small to highest number in order a small number is 52 then 55 55 255 is there this one 55 This one again fifty five, fifty six, fifty six, fifty six. Three fifty six is there. Fifty six, fifty six, fifty six. Then two fifty eight is there. Fifty eight, fifty eight. Then one fifty nine is there. One two three four five six seven eight nine. All individuals are there. Once I make this in the chronological order, I can see the most frequently appear number is here is fifty six. It appear three times. Fifty two, fifty five appear two times. Fifty eight appear two times. The most frequently appear number of your sample is called mod. The most frequently appear number of your sample is called mod. Most frequently appear number here fifty six. Most frequently appear number here is fifty six. Then what I am going to do is I am going to check more middle value of this sample. How many individuals are there? Nine individuals is there. If I put fifty percent down and fifty percent up, the middle value remains. One, two, three, four. You, you have to divide it nine from two. Four point five. Four point five up and four point five down. The middle value you can identify. One, two, three, four. It must be here. One, two, three, four. So fifty six, fifty six is the middle value. Below that, fifty percent is there. Above that, fifty percent of individual is there. So middle most middle value of your sample is called medium. Medium mean middle value of your sample. 
50 percent up and 50 percent down. Here your value, medium value is 56. Here your medium value is 56. Now I am going to draw, draw a curve for this edge distribution. Would you like to see it? Yes. I am going to draw a curve for this edge distribution. Here for this axis edge. For this axis the frequency of appearance. Frequency. We start with age 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, one more have to go, 68, 59, here one individual, here two individual, here three individual. If you check this data group, 52, only one individual have. 59 also one individual. 52 only one individual. Your position will be here. 53 no individuals. 54 again no individuals. 55 two individuals are there. 55 here two individuals is there. 56 how many individuals? Three individuals is there. 56. 56. 57, no individual again. 58, two individuals is there. 59, again, one individual is there. If I connect those points together, I can take a graph. If I connect those things together, I can take a graph. In this graph, in this graph, carefully look, your medium is here, median is here, mod is here, medium 56, mod also 56 and mean also 56.1, your mean, medium and mid, mod all together come into single position. If you found a curve like this, mean, medium and mode all together come into single highest position you are going to call it as normally distributed your age group here normally distributed your age group is here normally distributed why? your mean, medium and mode all together come into same position you are going to call it as normal distribution this was discovered by Gaussian I think because of that we are going to call it as Gaussian distribution is there. Gaussian distribution. I don't know how to write this Gaussian distribution. Gaussian distribution is there. Oh, if I put handle into here and if I modify a little bit and if I draw like this, it will be look like what? Bell. It will be look like bell. So we are going to refer it as bell shape curve. Normal distribution curve, bell shaped curve, Gaussian curve, mode, medium and mode, mean, same position curve, all are referred to normal distribution, bell shaped curve. My friend also did same research, he usually follow me, he also did same research, but unfortunately, instead of this 59 guy, instead of this 59 guy he collect sample that guy well, age was 99 what? that guy age was 99 unfortunate situation we will see what happened in that case would you like to see? yes so instead of 59 here it will be 99 instead of 59 here it will be 99 in that case instead of 505 you have to add another 40 into that sample, 549, because now 99, then you have to divide it from number of individuals, your value will be somewhere around 60 to 62, will be somewhere around 60. So if you take that value here to here, your mean right now is 60. My friends, mean value is right now 50, 60 but 
How many people are there above 60 and how many people are below 60? Only one individual is there below 60, 99. Rest of others, that means 8 below 60. Only one above 60. Unfortunate situation. If you draw a graph for them, this, if you go draw a graph for this like this, we will see what happens. Here frequency, here 99 age also there, here we start with 52, most of them are 55, 56, most of them are here, but because of present of 99 value, it will be curve will be like this, it is not like bell shape, it is not like bell shape, bell shape curve usually like this, it should be more or less symmetrical, but here not curve is asymmetrical your mean mean value is somewhere up here 60 your mode value is not going to change most frequently appear value 56 so 56 this one is mode your mean value is pushed toward the lateral side but mode value is same position your medium value will be somewhere here. Mod here, medium here, mean here. This curve is try to come towards the rural, your side like. This wave come toward, towards the you like. Because of that, we are going to call it as positively skewed. This curve is positively skewed. But because of adding advanced age guy into this sample, my friend's sample, his curve was positively skewed. Telling mean medium is no point in that case. If I tell mean previously, that was mean age for my population. If I tell mean now, it is 60. Most of them are below 60. But telling mean 60 is actually meaningless so from curve like this telling mean medium and mode is no point mode will have some idea most frequent appear number but mean is totally meaningless we'll see instead of 99 12 year old guy add into this sample instead of 99 12 year old guy add to this sample then what happened your curve will be like this. 12 year old guy also there. 56 is the most frequent appear one. Your curve will be like this. Again, your mod is 56 mod. Your median will be medium will be somewhere here. Your mean will be somewhere here. Mean medium and mod. This curve is try to go away from your side. Yours usually this side. Don't be in the other side. Try to go away from your side. Because of that we are going to call this curve as negatively skewed curve. Telling mean of this curve, the mean age of, if you calculate mean age, you will be found at the age of 45 years roughly. Can you say my population mean age is 45? No, only be just because of 12 year old guy that mean value come into 45. Otherwise, most of the guys are 50 to 55 range, 56, 58 range. This sample is wrong. This 12 year old guy wrongly represents this sample in that case. If you want this kind of sample, what you can do? Yes, you can tell intraquartile range what you can tell intraquartile range i will tell what it is very simple one don't worry 50 percent of sample from here to here another 50 percent sample from here to here or 50 percent sorry 25 quartile mean 25 percent one fourth of sample one fourth of sample from here to here one fourth of sample from here to here 
one fourth of sample from here to here and rest is one fourth of sample. Now your total sample is here. One fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. From here to here, the amount is called intraquartile range. Intraquartile range. That means middle 50%. If you can tell middle 50% include this much, your extreme value you can remove. You are not going to consider the, this part, you are not going to consider this part. You, if you are going to tell interquartile range, you should mention as IQR. If you see this one is in your paper, scientific paper, that means your sample is some kind of skewed distribute, either positive or either negative. Inter, that is why they mention interquartile range here. Because they mention interquartile range, because your data is positive or negative is skewed. They mention middle 50%, then you can get an idea. Most middle 50% will be within this range. Extreme value is there, but you can ignore them in that case. How they mention the interquartile range is graphical. It will be like this. In case of age 12 guy here, age 12 is there. Age 50. 8 is the highest guy, highest one in that case, 59 is not there. Instead of 59 guy, we took 50, sorry, 12 year old guy. So, 50% of them are distributed within this range. From here to here, another 25% distributed. From here to here, only another 25% distributed. This one is called intraquartile range. Actually, 50% of your sample population going to represent by your interquartile range. From here to here 50%, from here to here 50%. Sometimes this one also can be different from here to here 50%, from here to here 50%. You can get very nice idea by looking at this interquartile range. One of the very simplest thing in the medical statistic, interquartile range. Why you need interquartile range? Yeah, now you know. If you are found positively or negatively skewed distribution, you should talk about interquartile range. What that mean? Middle 50% is you have, they show middle 50%. From here to here, for I think age 55 to 57, middle 50% distribute. Out of them, most of are 52 to 55 to 56 range. 56 to 57 range, only small population. This is called interquartile range. Why you need interquartile range? If you found positive or negative is skewed distribution. Thank you very much.